How dirty that is. <laughs> That's bad. Might need to power wash that, or you think it's just rinse off? I'll rinse off. Think so. Mm -hmm. What's up, Grass Grind family? This is Chris, back on the grass grind. As you see, I had to spray spray that off. But what I wanted to talk about today is that um, we have the Boss TGS 1100 spreader, okay? And I wanted to talk about that and talk about some things that I like and talk about some things that I don't like, okay? All right, so here it is right here. Boss TGS 1100. Okay. Now, a couple of things that I do like. Um, this holds about probably about 800 pounds. Okay. Have some snaps here on the other side, and I heard a lot of people had a couple of issues with it staying on. Let's set this right here. But. A um, couple of things that I like about it, it holds a lot. I gotta get a step stool. Uh, it holds a lot of salt. Um, the less time you're taking loading the salt, the more time you're out there salting the properties, okay? This is what it looks like on the inside. Has this kind of like a grate right here. Um, you're supposed to be able to cut the bags open there. It'll catch most of the big particles, like the salt that's froze, but um, the mesh part is very big, so I don't think it's gonna do a great job on actually catching a lot of things. Um, the first thing that I noticed is that this is tall, okay? I'm 6'4", and this sits very tall, and you know, I know the truck sits pretty high, but you know, for me, this is about eye level. And to bring the bags over, you have to physically lift it up, put it on there, and that could be a pain. So what I usually do, got me a little handy dandy step stool, get on the step stool, and then I can load it in, okay? Did you brush your teeth today? Oh. Oh. Because if you brush your teeth today, hit that subscribe button. Bing. So not too bad. Um, another cool feature is um, they have an attachment here that makes it easy to load and unload. I don't think you're supposed to do it with the foot. Um, makes it very easy. Has a locking mechanism. Let's see. The red tabs are the locking mechanism. So basically what you would do is you would take the spreader, you would push it up, it would unlock it, and then you will pull it down and then it will pull down into the... All right, I'm back. I had to get some lotion for these hands because they looked uh, like I was playing in flower all day. But um, basically where I was at is that it does have this attachment. You could take it off and it makes it easier. So it's a one person operation. Um, which is really cool. Uh, this right here is where you adjust how much salt or your, not really your spread pattern, but how much salt it would spread. So um, you can adjust it like this. Keep in mind, the course, if you keep it like that, it'll be all the way closed. So I try to keep it wide open, okay? So really been um, 
pretty solid, but there there are a couple of things. Turn it on this right. Yeah, I'm going to show them that in a minute. It is a couple of things that um, I do not like. So um, I'm going to have Sarah hold the camera, and I'm going to show you guys this. Okay, just keep um, keep an eye on this. I'm going to start it up and show it. So before before I turn it on, I um, just wanted to show you. Once you start this up. Um, I mean literally turn it on the salt this goes in the blast mode Okay, and you lose a lot of salt just when it goes through that couple of second um, Blast mode, so I'm gonna go to the truck turn it on so you guys can see what it does. Okay Yeah, what it does is that it starts off really, really, really fast and then it slows right. down. Yeah, and you know, and that part, that part's not good because when you turn it on, um, you're losing a lot of salt and of course salt is money. So um, that's one thing that I, I do not like about it. Um, maybe it goes in the blast feature to kind of break up the salt a little bit, maybe. Mm. Um, I don't know, I don't have a good explanation for that. Um, let's see, another thing is, the spread width. Um, I think that the width could be a lot wider um, for for this one. Um, it does a pretty, I mean, it does a pretty good job though. Um, but I think the width could be a lot wider. What do you think about the spread pattern? I think, I mean, like that first time we did spread the spread it, did it yeah, it did really good. But I do have to say that, like, do not stand behind it because you will get pegged right. with. But I think this is a pretty good design. I think the mesh could be a lot smaller because, I mean, that that's pretty big. Um, I already showed them these points right here where it could um, open up the bags. But overall, I think it's pretty solid. Um, I mean, I think it's a good buy. What do you think? I think so too. I think it's a really good buy. And you know, that helps you when you're on the properties, you can get through the parking lots, you can saw them real quick, and then you're pretty much good to go. Um, I would like to see a wider spread pattern. Um, I can't really compare it to any others because this is our first salter or spreader. Um, but um, I think that it could just be a little bit wider. But overall, pretty solid. What do you think? I quite enjoy it. So, yeah, yeah, um, so. next year we're going to be for real ready. Yeah, I know. I know. it, But it does hold a lot of salt. A mm -hmm. lot of salt. 800 pounds is a lot. And generally we might put, what, maybe 400 pounds or so in there. Mm -hmm. And then we get to the property, let it all out, and it's pretty much good to go. So, um, the likes is the ease to get it on and off with one person. Yep, I showed them that. And it's real oily because I spray this thing down. Anytime I think about it, I try to spray it down. Uh, so I do like that it goes on and off easy. Uh, I do like that it holds a lot. Haven't had an issue with um, clogging up or anything. And um, But I don't like that the blast uh, when you first start it up. So. Are you gonna put that on? Yeah. And we'll show you how tall this thing is. <laughs> hey, I'm five nine, guys. Right. Well, I was telling them I'm six four, and it, it takes a lot to to get that on to keep that steady. All right. So that is the Boss TGS eleven hundred, and um, I like it. I, I like it a lot. Really? <laughs> anyway, this is Chris. And Sarah. On the grass grind. Always invest in yourself. And keep grinding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
you never know what you see on Grass Crime TV. Subscribe. Uh-huh.